such a bad job manning the soda fountain. Hold on, there's two more people that came here. Do we even have enough room? Okay, so even though there's no food or water and no defense, people are still happy to be here. What the hell? Hey there. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mm, what the heck's in that? I had a new Coca Cola once. And this stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Wow, they are just pouring it over and over again. Excuse me. Caffeine. Well, it does improve productivity, but really. Why and not? Together with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. What do you but mean commitment? You can still redeem yourself. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. What's wrong with well, that? Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But the that shade. core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. Ah, oh, the U.S. healthcare system. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely sounds like the U.S. health system. You would have been a terrific representative. The Hippocratic Oath is there for a reason. Yeah, psycho. It's the right thing to do. Spare me conventional platitudes. We have history to make. So, enter the Voltec Foropter. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight, but potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material, but the results will be worth it. Nuclear material, you say? Huh, what could go wrong? I know, it's foolproof. But don't fret about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. Uranium? So dig deep and get what we need. What the hell? Uranium? The same one where back in the 1920s, the... The... Yeah? the radiation girls would use to put uranium in watches, I believe, to make it glow-in-the-dark like. And they got infected and died from it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Alright, so I got a build. What am I building? Oh, this... Okay, I'm building... The faux roper prototype. Um, honestly, though, I guess I'm gonna have to do another another ghetto invention. But you know what? I'm gonna do it outside here. Outside, right here, right? And I'm gonna put it right near. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. I just realized something. I forgot two opponent two components. A terminal and uh, a uh, generator. So I'm gonna put it right here, right? And 
Miscellaneous. There you go. If you're just going to spin your legs for an hour, the power cycle is pretty fun. Clem, you deadass walked right behind me just to shout that out. Lord. Okay. Select, attach wire. Here, attach right over there. And it should be good, right? No? Three? Is this not enough? Oh, it's not enough. Okay. Let's do five. God damn. That fat ass generator. Alright. I mean, would a yellow jumpsuit really be that bad? Clem, the fact that you even got a jumpsuit, you should be happy about that. Alright, so this is... Uh, no, 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 I'm not doing anything with it. Wait, I just wanted to try it out. Let me set up what I want to do with this particular project. Let me see. R&D has designed a series of micro flash images which when played repeatedly and in a loop have a statistically significant positive effect on the test subject's view of the vault, vault tech, and the overseer specifically. We never quite perfected an eye drop formula that was both effective and didn't cause long lasting eye trauma, but we're still working on that. Oh, oh really? You think I want to go brainwash people to thinking vault tech is like gods or something? So US. This one team, Walrus, don't ask, is very proud of Dr. Braun, a small MRI specifically designed to fit in the Philropter when fed enough power and imaging can process the visual information response from stimuli. In layman's terms, it can read a test subject's mind and show an actual picture of what they're thinking about. That's the promise, at least, but the images are very grainy and indistinct. Starting from the standard role search test with hundreds of volunteers, her computers could reliably identify these images with 71% accuracy. It's still early days, but the promise of getting involuntary glimpses into a population's mind could be a game changer for vault management. We then develop far more useful word associations that could assist any overseer. By default, the following are programmed in. Traitor, inefficiency, gossip, complaint, and kitten. That was our test case, hitting bugs removing it from the lineup. Okay, so images straight from your mind. So, you mean to tell me if I'm feeling horny and I'm thinking dirty thoughts, I can literally see my dirty thoughts? I mean, in theory, it sounds pretty cool, but in all reality, that's like mad suspicious. I'm good on that one. Simple synopsis of this experiment. Ted, his team made a better tool for optometrists everywhere. That's it. Nothing else. Please, please process my request to reassign his whole team. Somewhere far away and cold. Yes, I'll take this one. Alright, Clem. <laughs> you are once again needed. And Overseer is right there. Here and not out there. I'm glad that you're glad, Clem. I'm glad that you're glad. All right, try it out. And Overseer is right there watching. Huh? Let me see. Looks uh, like we have our first patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clem, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. Damn. You ever planning on having any? I... Uh, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. 
Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the for with this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. Oh my goodness, and she's a willing volunteer. First the sort of machine and now this eye exam. So what do I do? Just stay still. So I just see. Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got uh, a minor eye infection. Damn. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it. Nothing else. I no. know you're dummy Thank mad. You her. Exam's all done. I know, and she's giving me the death stare. Okay. So strange having people about. All right, let me just talk to this woman I've here. Never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff anyhow? Are you kidding? Building a vault, experimental prototypes, and guinea pigs? No offense. Who wouldn't do it? <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, but you're funny. I figured coming down here was too good to be true. But I might have misjudged you. Might tell my friends it's a good thing down here. Thanks. I guess. I wonder what type of illicit experimentation vault Tech was performing here. I don't want to know, Ada, but that's a really good question. I just don't want the answer, especially since Overseer wants to... I don't know, kill everyone low-key. Excuse me. So one of our residents is happy. Yeah. That's completely irrelevant. Wow. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time pandering to their every whim. So who, who hurt you? Like, did your mom and dad not hug you enough? Did some guy or girl broke your heart so bad you just want to low-key make everyone miserable like dead ass you know you're a psychopath right if you mean i've cultivated a proper vault tech clinical detachment i know wow what name calling is counterproductive more this like a last good experiment truthful is my pride and observation joy, but okay following in the footsteps of Dr. potato Braun potato and the others I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Oh, Lord. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harnessed them? What vices are you talking about? Well, greed. The schematic mm -hmm. is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters and let's see how it fares in the field. So right now we're going to make a slot machine so people could gamble. Is that it? Slot machine prototype, right. People are just, you know what? I'm gonna put it right next to this soda machine right here. So people can just gamble away. Um, actually, you know what? Right here. And then of course I gotta put in my generator. And I got to put in my little prototype terminal so I can just pick whatever experiment I want to do here. Lock in endangered servitude primarimal? What? No, I don't want to do that. Lock in customer profiling perimeters? No. Lock in lost revenue? 
No. Gambling is alluring by its very nature. Casinos throughout the hit the country have spent millions to further refine its appeal. An in-depth analysis of the techniques involved in Commonwealth psychology today gave me the inspiration to use gambling as a positive motivation force in the vault. The big unanswered question is what's the best way to use this device options? The device could manipulate probability to first entice a subject then later drain them of all financial resources. This would ensure the maximum amount of revenue for the vault. This is the indentured servitude perimeter. The machine itself could be a standard game of chance, but the machine is capable of identifying behavior and allowing the overseer to track those with degenerate behavior, customer profiling. If there is time for a control, the probability could be adjusted to maximize the returns, i.e. gamblers will win more often than not. Undoubtedly, this would prove popular and expensive, but the lost revenue perimeter should only be chosen for A-B testing. Yes, I'm gonna do this. Alright! Who's gonna... Gamble? Of course Clam's gonna gamble first. Go right ahead, sit down, have fun, play some games. Do whatever you wanna do, Clam. It's all yours. Oh, the overseer is coming. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. I wish I was happy like that. Instead I'm just so fucking depressed. <laughs> that overseer is like this is better work. I just oh, can't you can, lose. You can actually see. Okay. Oh shit, you won! Good job, Clem. That's cool. Wow. Well, pull the lever. Ha <laughs> I win again. But how? You just lost. Like, do you know do you not know how to read? Oh, that's a winning uh that's a winning sound right there. Ada. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Ada. Here you are, ma'am. Wow, she gave me a gold watch and a hot plate. Thank you, Ada. I really appreciate you. I love you. You gotta try this, uh, this slot machine. It's the best. I bet. Do it again. I just can't lose. But you did. I'm looking at the screen right now. See, you lost again, my boy. Come on. Damn! Three times in a row! I know you're mad. Okay, that's good. You gotta Look at try that. this, uh, this slot machine. It's the best. I'm good. I don't really like to gamble like that. I have a fear of losing money. Oh my god, does that mean that I crave control in all aspects of my life? Damn. Ha <laughs> I win again. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, again? You're on the roll. Nice. You gotta try this, uh... I don't see the overseer here, but I'm just curious. Let me just read through here. Uh, I don't see anything that I like to read. Ha! <laughs> Power levels suboptimal. Power production also spiky. At one point, test subject got up to answer the call of nature, resulting in a 5M27S gap of no power. Unacceptable. 
Oh, sorry. Resulting in a 5 minute 27 second gap of no power. Unacceptable. Evaluation failure. So people are not allowed to take a piss. That's cool. The chemical added is a flavor enhancer. There are no additional benefits at all. Evaluation. Dismal failure. Because we don't want people to enjoy their drinks. This device showed so much potential. Instead, it performed its over it function. Admittedly better than its standard foropter. Evaluation failure. Because we shouldn't care about people's eye health. Cool. Oh, the overseer. Oh, lord. I can... I can hear. Time to check in with the slot machine. Feel her disapproval. I can't wait. I bet you can't. Let's go. Come on. No? I guess I'll just Hi. talk to you. Time to check in with the slot machine. I can't wait. So let's go to the slot machine. <laughs> I win again. She's gonna be dummy pissed, watch. I already saw three different failures listed on the computadora. So once she sees failure number four in her eyes, she's just gonna lose her marbles. I can't wait. I just can't lose. Let's check in with Clem. Oh Okay. Hi. That slot machine thing is a hoot. Thanks a lot for Letting me try it, Lady Overseer? I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. Now we just need a variety act and some crime bosses and our casino's set. Ah, your famous wit. Mm. It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. And it's an unmitigated disaster. I told you she'd be dummy pissed. Wasting time and valuable resources. But this place is the best, Lady Overseer. Everyone says so. You see, this, this is what you've done. Damn. Vault 88 was supposed to be magnificent. It is. I cannot stand to be in this cherry purgatory you've concocted. Cherry purgatory? Oh my god. I bet she gets off of sadness and despair, bro. Whoa, okay. What's your plan then? That's my business, not yours. And she's I salty. I leave of this wreckage you call a vault. Come on, I bro. Get what you deserve. Overseer. You really wow, you're really going to leave? <clears throat> Valerie. Please take care of the vault. Okay, but where the hell are you going to go? Please. Take care of the vault. I'm not gonna Come take care of the experiment. I hope I did good. They were real interesting. You really are a glass is half full kind of guy, aren't you? Who? Me? Heck, I'd be happy just to have a glass. I guess you're the overseer now, right? Looking forward to giving the vault my best. Yo, she dead left. Like, bro. She actually hated the fact that this vault Hi, is please. happy. Take care of the vault. Valerie, where are you gonna go? Are you really gonna go out there? You think you can survive that? Come on, Val. Please. Take care of the vault. I'm not gonna take care of the vault because as soon as this episode ends, I'm just gonna dip and leave everyone abandoned here. <clears throat> like, come Please on. Take care of the vault. Oh, you know what? If you're gonna leave, then just fucking leave then. I'm already used to it in my personal life. Alright, well What do I want what do I wanna do with this vault? I mean, nothing much, really. I mean, at this point, I might as well just go back and finish up on the main quest. That way, I can actually finish up on this game. So, since 
Lady Overseer is going. I'm also heading out as well. Wow, everyone's asleep. What time is it? What time is it? Let me see. It is 2.26 a.m. and I'm awake. Okay, well, you know what? They can survive on their own. They can hunt, get their own water. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave. Val is really abandoning this vault just because she was not able. Thank you, Ada. The, but the thing is, I just don't get it. The whole time she wanted to torture people. And I'm over here trying to, you know, make sure people enjoy being here. That's just so awkward. And weird. Please take care of the vault. All right, Valerie. Well, you can leave. Get shot. Have fun. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.